Okay, um, we're looking at raptor tails here. I have a beam. Uh, you can see that beam is sloping. Hopefully it shows up here. Um, and uh, we want that beam to have a clipped tail. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, in the settings, we're going to go to segment settings. And we are going to go to uh, add a segment. So we'll say add. Right, you can see here this is the top segment, here's the lower segment. It's, it depends on which direction the beam was drawn from, left to right, right to left, clockwise, counterclockwise, uh, which one is the first versus segment, uh, second segment. But I want to make sure that in this little diagram I'm selecting the second segment. I'm going to set that segment to a fixed length because this is my rafter tail. Uh, let's just say for this sake it's a three foot rafter tail. Um, now that raptor tail is going to have its own unique settings from this piece. So if I come in here and I say that this piece is tapered, um, I've got this little taper option right here. We'll go to the setting and we'll say that it ends at five and a half inches. Oh, that's backwards of course. Um, we'll switch that back and we'll go here, five and a half inches. So uh, let's go ahead and say okay on this and just show you what it looks like and uh, say okay so you can see it's tapering now but it's tapering uh, top and bottom I want just the bottom to be tapering so to make that happen it's actually where the reference line sits so I need to set that reference line here and then say okay now there could be some guess and check as to what that taper needs to look like you can get into the settings and make the ends perpendicular for example if I said that that end is Oh, that's the top end. I'm always getting this backwards. Bottom end. We'll make the top end vertical. Right, so that can be perpendicular. Uh, if I needed a notch here, if I needed this to come up and notch, uh, I don't think that's the case in the practice model. But if I want that to notch, um, excuse the baby babbling in the background if he's coming through. Um, you can also say that uh, it starts at, let's say, uh, nine and a quarter inches or something. And that should give us a little drop there. Say OK, right there. So we also have settings for what this angle sits. So if that needs to sit vertical, just some hypotheticals here, things that you might need to look at. So if I go to the joint right here, I get segment joint. I could say that that's vertical, for example. So you get a lot of flexibility for how this needs to look without having to have like custom uh, solid element operations or trimming bodies. Uh, you can do that all within uh, a single beam element now.